And we're back on the roof. So we're back on this one. This is the one where we change out the fans. Uh, then we discovered that circuit one was flat. So we're here to do a nitrogen test. I'm surprised that they actually authorized it. I thought they were just gonna let it run with one circuit, but we're gonna go ahead and pressurize it up with some nitrogen. Probably gonna go to about 400 PSI. Hopefully we can find a leak and fix it. Uh, and then we're gonna actually charge MO99 in this thing uh, if we can repair it. So uh, we're gonna put in the nitrogen. We'll be back, see if we can find it. So here we go. Okay, so it's definitely this guy. It's called a, a soft port. Uh, so basically this, if the pressure gets too high, it's gonna dump the charge. So that means our high pressure switch failed. As you can see here, you can see right through it. Uh, usually there's like a little thing. And if you look on the side of it, it at 170 degrees is where it'll pop. You can, I don't know if you can see that, but it says on the side. So we're gonna replace that and we're gonna replace the high pressure switch. And while we're doing this, we're gonna also do a low pressure switch uh, and then the line dryer here. Uh, I ordered the stuff, so it's gonna take a while. So we'll probably have to come back and do it another day. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's where we're at so far. Okay, so we're back. So we got this, this is what's called a soft plug. Um, like we were found that it basically blew out. You shouldn't be able to see through it, but you can. So I went and got a replacement. Uh, so this is what it looks like. You can see it's actually got a plug in it. So the idea is when that gets too hot, it melts and it just blows up the charge. So this is the old one. See, so the solder's gone. So we're gonna replace that. We're gonna pressurize it. Uh, and then we're gonna make sure there are no other leaks before we actually change out our line dryer. Uh, and then go from there. And I'm gonna put some uh, night, uh, some, what do you call it? Uh, um, Nylog on that too, just to be safe. But we're also, uh, we got a new pressure switch because I think what happened was the high pressure when the fans broke, the high pressure switch didn't trip. So it got hot enough where this thing just dumped the charge. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, so we're, we're replacing that pressure switch, but it's not gonna be in until tomorrow and they need cooling like ASAP because it's nasty in there. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take those that pressure switch off uh, because it does have a Schrader core. And then uh, when it comes in tomorrow, I can just come in and screw it on real quick. So yeah, that's the plan. So let's go ahead and get those okay, off. So this is the high pressure switch. So this thing's going. We're gonna go ahead and change out the Schrader core just because I don't wanna risk it leaking. So I'm gonna put in a new one. Uh, and then I'm gonna replace the one on the low pressure switch too. basically you just screw on the new one and wire it up so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna leave the low pressure switch in place but I'm gonna change the Schrader core on that one too just because uh, why not it takes two seconds okay so we'll get that done okay so both of them have new Schrader cores you can see there you can see there Put a little bit of uh, nylog on there just to make sure it seals all the way. The last thing I want is these guys leaking. And you notice I'm not putting it on the thread, I'm putting it on the edge because that's where the seal is going to be. And don't worry if it gets in the system, it won't hurt anything. Okay, and then we just screw that on there like that. And then I will also be changing the shredder cores on the service ports as well on all of them. There's this one has a suction line a liquid line and a uh, discharge so I'm going to change the straight of course for all of those as well okay and then I'll crank it down you want to go ahead and put a, a wrench here that way you don't twist this off and then we'll crank it down there okay and then we just get that on there like that and then we squeeze just like that So we got our suction or our low pressure switch reconnected. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and pressure this up with nitrogen and just make sure there are no other leaks. But first I gotta change up that soft plug, so I'm gonna go do that first. 
Okay, so we got some nylog on there. I don't know if you can see that. And I put it on the end and on the threads because the seal is at the end. But I'm also putting it on the threads just to be safe. Okay. And then same thing like we do with the pressure switch is we'll put a wrench here and a wrench here and then lock it in. Okay, we got our nitrogen hooked up and ready to roll. We're going to go ahead and pump this thing up to 350 PSI. And make sure we don't have any more leaks before we cut out that line dryer and all that good stuff. Alrighty, well, there's no nothing leaking out of there, so that's good. So we'll go ahead and go up to 300 and let her chill. And then while it's chilling, I'll bring up the rest of my stuff. But I think that we're going to be good, hopefully. Okay, so we've had the uh, system under pressure now for about 15 minutes. And we've actually gained 0.7 PSI, so I would say we don't have a leak. So I'm going to go ahead and release the nitrogen, and then we're going to uh, put in that line dryer. Okay, so I've cut the top. I'm going to sweat off the bottom, and then we'll see what we got to work with. Okay, so we got to debird and send it down. Uh, we've sanded that as best we could, so we're going to go ahead and install it. Our arrows should be pointing downwards, because uh, this uh, is our liquid line uh, up here, right? So it comes out and then goes to the coil. So we always want the arrow pointing towards the indoor coil. Okay, so we got her in place, and we're using our old line dryer to hold it up so it doesn't pop out while I'm brazing it. Uh, so yeah, so we're going to go ahead and get this brazed up. And you've seen me braise a thousand times, so I'm not going to film this part. Okay, so we got her in there. Uh, I'm pressurizing it now, just make sure my braises aren't leaking. That one came out nice, that one's kind of ugly, but I mean, you know, that was a nice clean braise, but uh, the important thing is it doesn't leak. So we're gonna pressure it up again just to make sure, uh, and then we'll start with a vacuum, and then uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so I put this strap back on. That's to keep it from vibrating and rubbing up on stuff. So it's very important you put those back on. Otherwise, the whole pipe will vibrate and it can rub up on something and create a hole. So you want to make sure every strap straps down. This is just my wire that I was using to hold up the pipe while I was brazing. So I'm going to take that off. So yeah, I'm just letting the pressure out now and then we'll go ahead and get the vacuum started. We actually got our pressure switch early. So we're going to go ahead and install that. Not right now. We're going to wait till she's done vacuuming. We're at 840 now. Uh, it's taking forever because it's a big unit. So, but yeah, we're going to wire it up and then once it's done, we'll put, when we put refrigerant in there, we'll take that cap off and pop it back on there. Okay, so these two purple wires are going to the unit. Um, so we did have our low pressure, that's what's connected right now, but we need to put our high pressure uh, switch into the circuit. So I'm going to take these off and basically the high pressure is going to go in series uh, with the low pressure. All right, so we're going to take our purple wire and we're going to go to our high pressure. And go ahead and wire nut that together. Now we're going to take our other wire from a high pressure switch and we're going to wire nut that into our low pressure switch. Just like that. Okay, so we're putting that in series. And we're going to go ahead and connect these two together with a wire nut. Oh, that one's got stuff in it. Try this one here. There we go. Alright, cool. So that is all wired up. So, just to go over this again, purple wire goes into our low pressure. Other low pressure goes into our high pressure, and then that goes back into the other purple wire. So it's in series. And then uh, once we're all done with this and get this thing installed properly, we'll go ahead and zip tie everything and we clean it up and make it look pretty. And then I will use Nylog to install this, just a little bit extra protection, because the last thing you want to do is fix a leak and then it leaks again. All right, so we got to 500 microns. We're going to go ahead and dump 19.2 uh, pounds of MO99. Here we go. So I got three tanks, because unfortunately none of them are full. So this is going to take a while. And they've been sitting in the sun the whole time, so 
Okay, so this little jumper wire right here, I gotta take that off because now we don't want uh, second stage to come on unless the thermostat calls for it. This was, we did this, that way the second stage compressor would run until we could get this fixed. So we're gonna put it back the way it was. And we're on our second tank. We got 11 pounds from the first tank and we're about four pounds into this one. So almost there. We need 19.4. Alrighty, so she's all charged up and ready to go. She's running. I'm getting nice cool air inside. Um, I'm not familiar with MO99. But that's our pressures. Oh, I guess that's okay. I'm not seeing any super heat. And subcooling, I think the target on this is eight. So it's a little low. Uh, but I got a factory charge in there, so I don't want to put any more in there. So we'll just see how it goes and we'll probably come back in a few days and double check it then. Uh, it probably takes a while for it to settle. Anyway, uh, we're gonna go ahead and clean up and get the heck out of here. So hopefully this helps. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment, tell me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching.